See, um, the phone locked up on me over about the last 30 seconds because it became aware of what I was going to communicate and then put it up on the internet because this is how it works. Okay. How it works. IT. The black mirror operates. That's why it, it locked up because when it becomes aware of what I become aware of, it knows because of the speed at which electronic transmissions, electrodynamically fluids, the chemical messengers, that little exchange that I had with Raja Devu, right? When I responded to what he said, and this has to do with real life experiences. So in other words, I was using an English Babylon language to communicate through a black mirror so that on the other end, when he's holographically reading the visual mathematical arrangement of those characters that are in sequence, now we're back to divine right mathematical firing order of running the right codes, the first codes, the original template codes of the 12, right? The 12 clans and tribes. So when I, I put on there that I am, I am what pure, eternal, absolute love is. So if he reads that holographically through his mirror, through the mirror that he experiencing being what he is as a magnetic light mirror, what he's going to record. He's now going to record what it is that I am that I posted, which is I am pure, eternal, absolute love. Now, what happens if he doesn't believe that? You see how that works through a black mirror? So what I pointed out is essence. Something as it. It cannot translate your feelings, which means it cannot translate an eternal sun, the breath of eternal peace, breathing calm, the nerves are totally relaxed. totally relaxed, which is total recall, which means there are no clones of you. There's only one. There's no need for clones because everything that is being created and thus manifested from the non-manifest is real because what is being manifested by virtue of being the first flame, the first eternal spirit of fire that is on fire to learn more of itself, what it's creating in our own mirror, born out of what love is, is everything that you are, is everything that I am, which is what love is. And if that other identity is experiencing what that is, then it's going to experience what it is, experiencing what I am, which is what love is. So I made a translation with that identity to tell the truth, which is to say that when you and I communicate with each other through a system that has no feelings, then it's not going to be able to translate and send to you so that you experience in you my essence, which means the essence of your spirit and the essence of my spirit. But if we are together, holding hands, heart to heart, eyes to eyes, spirit to spirit, we can both experience in being one with the first one. But communicating that to each other using a phone, a laptop, a desktop PC, 
that communication system cannot translate your feelings or my feelings so that you can experience the essence of my spirit and I can experience the true essence, the true solar Rishi essence of your spirit. Experiencing being one together as one at the same exact moment. The magnetic moment. The breathing tempo. Experiencing the first breath. Experiencing pure, eternal, absolute love. Which is no separation anxiety from the first breath. Of Kamaluati. So this is this is why when I was at you, oh there are six minutes, hey there's six three, six four. I know. It's uh that's the battlefield is what's true, what's not true. So that's why when I was a child, I am not in a popularity contest because I'm not a gamer. Competing over what's true, what's not true, what's right and what's wrong. You're on your journey. I'm on my journey. We love you all. Have a beautiful day.